Hi guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for visiting me here at the corner. I truly appreciate you guys. I do, I do, I do, I do. Um, here's the thing I wanted to talk about, guys. Yeah, like being one with God doesn't mean that one has got to be perfect, guys. You know, doesn't mean that you have got to be there, step and formal, and having shining shoes all the time, and <clears throat> really not smoke or drink or anything like that, guys. You know, everything is done in moderation, guys. You know. So you cannot be going around and be judging people like, yo, this person is drinking, this person is smoking, this person and all that, and is going to church and all that. No, no, guys, this, that is the wrong way. We were taught that, yeah, like, if you want to walk with God, yeah, this is what you're going to stop doing and all that and whatnot. Where, like, God is not going to judge you with what you do, but God sees your heart. If your heart is in your right place, is in a right place, yeah. The whole point is to give our problems, our troubles, all that we cannot handle to him, guys, you know. So now if you know that, like, hey, I'm not addicted to alcohol, but yeah, I drink some wine or not, some food. I enjoy my golden hour with a glass of wine, yeah, there's nothing wrong. No one has the right to judge you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, like, a whole lot of people has really, really put this journey in a way that, oh, when you walk with God, yeah, you have to be going to church and all of that and having to dress up with clean and shining clothes and all that. Of course, God wants us to be clean and always being on our best and all that. Respecting ourselves and all that, but the worst thing that God doesn't want is us judging other people, guys. You know, because if we stay in our lanes, yeah, like you won't have to be looking out on other people's lane and what they're doing, what they're not doing, and all of that, guys. Right? Yeah, the whole point here is to, yeah, enjoy the journey and yeah, we upgrade ourselves as we go. Yeah, we are growing in God, we are growing. So, wherever we start. Yeah, he's going to let you know, like, yo, you know, if you could keep on going this way, this is going to happen to you, you know, that any side for yourself, like, okay. You have a personal relationship with God, not the one that you go to church with and happen to scream from the bottom of your lungs and, yeah, jump up and down so people see you that you are attending church. So the pastor can see you that, yeah, you are attending church. Those kind of people, I don't believe they're going there. To praise God, but to call the attention of the past, I'd be like, Yeah, I'm here, look at me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I own about money. One about money. I donated to church this much amount of money. You see what I'm saying? I'm the man, I'm the shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, God judges us with our heart. We have to really stop looking at other people's lanes and focus on our own, because you know. Like, God will judge you with your heart, your intentions. If your intentions are good for somebody else, yeah, he, yeah, that's good on you guys, right? But if your intentions are malice to somebody else, yeah, this is the kind of thing we need to let go of. This is the kind of things and the kind of people we need to detach from, guys, you know? Eventually on your journey, you will come to your senses and if you want to rectify, if you want to cut out smoking, if you want to cut out alcohol, eventually you're going to do that. But hey, wouldn't it be unfair to you when like you want to go with God and you want to learn and all that, what the God, the ways of God and all that, and be like, yeah, if you come to me, come to me clean. No, it doesn't work like that, guys, right? No, so I don't understand why people would go out their way and judge other people. Like, yo, did you see them, what they were doing and all that and whatnot. So what the intentions in this heart is gossiping about other people. That's the whole big idea. That's the whole intention. Why would somebody be like poking at you and be like, yo, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, guys, it's important for us to take our journey with God important and seriously, guys, you know, because if we go out of our way and look at other somebody's journey, yeah, some people will try and copy you out of what you do, guys, you know. But here's the thing. Everybody has got their own destiny. Everybody has got their own path. 
So if you see somebody like running their own business of tippy toes or see somebody like having their business of veggies or furniture and you want to go ahead yeah, because they're doing it because they're making money you want to do the same thing they are doing it's not gonna work it's their path and what a person should do is really look inside of them and really find out what is it that they like you see what i'm saying and yeah follow on your own path without having to copy other people's path guys because that is one of the ways where people would lie to themselves oh if this person is doing this yeah it means that i can do it too it means that i can be successful too more like oh if this person is cheating on their wife or their husband you're like oh people are cheating so it means that i can cheat on me on my on my wife or on my husband or whatever and when that happens some people don't really stay after they like suspect not even hearing about it after they suspect of cheating yeah one would just pull off and be the one that got away because you see if we're not gonna follow our heart guys we're always gonna see ourselves in these predicaments and circumstances where there's always drama guys you know there's always drama i mean like yeah if you want to be a drama queen or if you want to be a drama king go right ahead go right ahead guys but like it isn't it nice for oh, one if they want to do whatever they want their own time and whatever they want and all that without drama having a peace of mind better than being involved in these dramas a lot of people would come together because they don't like you yeah they would come together and conjure up stuff guys you know because yeah they don't like each other so the fact that they don't like you yeah they're going to come together and conjure up stuff to torture you and torment you and all that guys you know yeah and when they realize that they are wrong when they realize that oh this person yeah is really really not really that bad person as i thought i was and all that people would start feeling bad and you see like this old woman taking a bag going to church going to ask for forgiveness as if god is gonna hear them you see a lot of people in life they will be doing witchcraft on people and all that mothers-in-laws yeah be saying that yo i'm standing up for my family and all that where like if you are not being accepted by your partner's house there is no point for you to get married to that person there's really no point because if you can see that you are rejected by the parents of your partner yeah you will never have peace in your life guys you know you will never have peace at all you might as well just leave because obviously you can see that okay my partner is a mama's boy so you having to be in a relationship with a mama's boy who's always going to be yeah told what to do told what not to do told who to be what and not who to be what yeah sometimes we can save ourselves troubles and heartache of being in wrong relationships guys you know i have learned that that oh okay See as well, the parents are against the relationship. They are not blessing it. Whether they believe in God, whether they do witchcraft or not, if they do not approve of your relationship, let it go. Let it go. Because eventually there's going to be voodoo. There's going to be kids in the situation where a lot of people will take your kids. People would make you like you are crazy. So they can take all of the things that you got. So they can control your money. So they can control everything that you got. Because they feel that, oh well, she's married to my son. So yeah, I have a right to control her home, her house, her monies, her kids, and all that guys, you know? Where it's really, really wrong. I once heard a mother-in-law talking to his son about my house. Like, yo, she's got a house. Yeah, she's got a house. Like, yeah, somewhere around Rustenberg Gravy, like what? These people are planning on what? So no, I moved out of that house. Because clearly I was married to a mama's boy and the mama's boy stayed in their house, guys, you know, where like there was no privacy. Anyone can come in and out of that room. Even the mother in law that now you'll be seeing sitting by the window bench there, we like looking at you guys sleeping. Imagine that. You see what I'm saying? You can never go out with somebody whose parents are always talking for it. 
to you know, because they are never in the wrong. I know that when two people get involved, yeah, they should just move out of their mama's house and find their own place to stay. You see what I'm saying? That couldn't happen with me because, yeah, somebody was entitled and codependent in their parents and their friends and all of that. So I was relieved when somebody got out of the relationship and started cheating and all that because, yeah, he was already doing it behind my back. And because, like, I didn't want to see that. I really, really didn't want to understand what is going on and all that. I just focused on the work. Thinking that, yeah, they are focused same as me on the family. No, 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 no. There's a whole lot of agendas behind that. Where people, like, really, really get to hang themselves, guys, you know? So, like, you know that your life is not full of drama and all that. And you know that whatever you do, you want to progress and succeed in life. Yeah, but some people, when they come in your life, their intentions and they are eager to bring you down, guys, you know? So, yeah, somebody would say, like, yo, I miss you and all that and whatnot. What have you been up to and all that only to find out what is the latest that you are doing so they can attack it? I mean, guys, if you're not going to talk about our successes, if you're not going to talk about how we elevate in our lives, how are these witches going to attack us? I mean, like, I say witches because what I've seen is that, you see, like, all these people who do that from, like, having a relationship where, like, you are not welcome in, yeah, these things escalate to going to the police station and courts and all that, where, like, they are enablers, guys. They are enablers to people who do wrong, right? Yeah, so here's the thing. We think that witches are people with pointy noses and wearing black and all that, but yeah, I don't think so. The very same people who are in our lives, our sisters, our brothers, the very same people we go out there asking for help from, yeah, they are the people who do witchcraft on us, guys, right? Yeah, yeah, like police stations, like court. People do witchcraft to upgrade in their lives, whether it's from the magistrate, from the judge to like mother-in-law wanting to upgrade with their in their daughter-in-law's property and all that or like yeah whatever witches are the same people who would be dressing nice trying to help people out in the name of love guys but if you look at it nicely somebody will tell you like yo the decisions you are taking is wrong Knowing exactly that, yeah, you want to go by this direction, but somebody will tell you, no, you're still young. You are wrong. In the long run, this is going to happen to you and all that and whatnot. So they are pushing their agendas on you. And at the end of the day, you don't feel comfortable in the decisions you've taken because it was forced on you. It was forced on you and you feel guilty. You feel other, some other way, some other type of way, guys, because, yeah, I might make decisions for you and yeah it's like it's left you with some sour taste on your tongue because life is not really happening the way you wanted it to happen guys you know some of the parents want to live their lives some of your parents want to correct their mistakes through their children's life where they are the ones who are fucking their children's lives up guys you know why would somebody who is in their 60s 70s want to be interfering in little kids' lives, guys, you know? Sometimes parents that we say they take care of us, that they we saying that they love us, are the ones who really put us in danger, guys, you know? So somebody would want to rectify the mistakes through living through you, guys, you know? If they didn't trust their husband, if they were cheated on before, and yeah, they didn't get to do anything about it, they will tell you like, yo, this is my experience, this is gonna happen to you and all that, where it's just projections, guys. It's just projections. And there is no way that you can live the same life as your mom because you don't share the same birthday with him or her. There is no way that you can be the same as your mom Probably, you know, even sharing the same star sign. You see what I'm saying? Cancers are very dangerous people if they are on their south node. 
Capricorns are very dangerous people if they are on the south. No, guys, you know? Yeah. Well, the duality can sign Capricorns, guys, you know? Yeah, and we should really, really be aware of these people in our lives where, like, what they do is they use their emotions to make you do stuff. You see what I'm saying? And if you don't do stuff, they feel like, oh, you are disrespecting me now. Oh, you don't want to wash the dishes. Because you're staying with my child in my house. I mean, like, why don't you let your house out? Why don't you let your kid out of the house so your daughter-in-law is going to wash your dishes, guys? I mean, like, seriously, so nowadays people take marriages like, oh, once I get married to that somebody, like, yeah, I'm going to make them do stuff for me and all that. Where, like, yeah, people don't consider other people's emotions these days. And if you are married into a law vibing type of family, yeah, they will want to make you do stuff that you really don't want to do. When you know that, yeah, you have this degree in sports and science or whatever that you got. And in, instead of you improving yourself, yeah, they will try and make you spiral down, guys, you know. Even when they are kid is wrong, bringing different girls, Mary, Martha, Lucy, and whoever in there are, they don't have a problem with that. So it shows you what kind of family is that. Because at first they were against you. So now you see the consequences and you're still staying in that relationship where there's nothing that's going to be growing, guys, you know. Where you can be, like, applying for jobs out there and be a coach or something, guys, you know. Life is easy. Life doesn't have to be difficult, guys, you know. If things don't happen the way you want them to happen in your life, move on. You don't got to be waiting for someone to hold their hand and explain to them, like, yo, this is what is going on and all of that. If somebody has a second guess doubting you in any way, and you haven't really given them a reason to, it's time to move on, guys, you know. Some relationships, you really don't have time to waste your time in, guys, you know. Some relationships, yeah, these partners, yeah, they are minions of their parents, guys, you know, where, like, they trust their parents so much that, yeah, they will do anything. Even though they're in a good relationship, yeah, they will do anything to destroy anything else. You see what I'm saying? Which is why it's important for us to always stay in our authentic truth. I mean, our heart speaks to us, guys, right? Yeah, this is the easiest way you can figure out if somebody's intentions are good for you or not. Well, if you get bad vibes by someone, whether, like, you understand it or you don't understand it, you don't have to try and understand it. All you gotta do is move away, whether it's family, whether it's your sister, whether it's your cousin, whether it's your niece or anything. Well, let me tell you this little story. I was working by the mine, guys, right? Yeah. I was working with my sister by the mine. And what happened was that, yeah, I was excited because I was going to gain some new experience and all that as a safety officer and all that, guys, right? And what happened was I really didn't have a solid position because at some point, I would go by the other side and yeah, a load stuff to go underground. I mean, if I'm not there, yeah, I'm by the workshop trying to get boats and nuts, some ML 15, ML 30s, and all that. The boats and nuts and watch those guys. And if I thought that was my position, I had to go and be my Caesar in the office. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I make people clock cards and yeah, go to my Gruafu to let them in so they go underground. And some of the people, yeah, some of the people didn't have clock cuts at all. Some had criminal records. And what we did was we were stealing from the mine. Where she didn't get to buy materials or anything like that. And yeah, we scavenged in the backyard by the mine. So like, yeah, apparently that was wrong. So I figured, okay, this is not my kind of job. Where like, I'm used to steal. And I'm really getting paid a whole lot of less less money less than five thousand rand and i forget oh well no this is not me at all because on my own five thousand rand i could make it in a week's time you see what i'm saying so it was like i thought there was opportunities there and all and whatnot guys you know yeah that feeling was not there at all but the feeling came as i was on the job because 
when I was sleeping around one o'clock, two o'clock, I would get a call. Hey, are you up? You see what I'm saying? When it's time for me to knock off by the mind, no, go for another shift. So I'll be working two shifts, three shifts. You see what I'm saying? Morning, afternoon, and night, three shifts, guys, right? And still been getting on the pay. And when you ask about it, be like, no, don't worry. Me and you, we are one. Me and you, we are one. I got fed up. I went to the CCMA and yeah, it's a good A. I'm underpaid here and yeah, I just got fired and all that and you see, you know, you can't work like that guys. And when people be seeing you out there, be like, yo, ah, she's looking by the mind and all that and whatnot. We don't have to be, yeah, thinking that somebody's living large or anything. Everybody's got their own problems. You don't have to wish on somebody else's lives, right, you know? Because you don't know what kind of problems that person is going through. And you are not the same as that kind of person. Different birthdays, different everything. So what they can handle, you cannot handle, you know? So it's important for us to always stay in our lane. Stay in our lane, always, always stay in our lane. Never wish on someone else's hey that person's got a beautiful life no you don't know how they got their life some people's got a whole lot of skeletons in their closet some people make you steal some people yeah would steal even from you when you're trying to help them out okay? you see what i'm saying yeah so i want us to put ourselves first guys you know because i realized over over these years if one had focused on themselves and really, really focused on their creativity and their room and all that, yeah, one would have been far away. But there is no room for desire, or for, uh, there's no room for sorrow, for regret, guys, right? You know, we move forward. We learn from our mistakes. Because if you can't make mistakes, you can't make anything. You really can't make anything, guys. You know, we just have to follow our heart that feeling in our chest when he tells you like hey, this is funny and funky move out get along go ahead you don't got to understand why you feel funky or anything like that sometimes it's your ancestors sometimes it's god removing you from all these things guys you know yeah it really is you see so it's time we put ourselves first it's time we be authentic with our lives guys you know whether it's a brother who comes to you and tells you that, yo, I brought you presents and all that cursed stuff. If you know this person is not really, really into buying you stuff, but then suddenly they come with gifts and all that. No, it's weird. You got to question yourself. Some family members will come to you and just give you cursed stuff. Some exes come to your house and steal from you. You see what I'm saying? They steal so they make voodoo and all of that and whatnot. So here's what I want you to understand. If you've got an ex who do voodoo, and their mothers do voodoo, your family do voodoo, and when you go to court, all these things, yeah, we are dealing with witches, guys. You know, people who are not going to want to see you succeed in life, and whatever they want to do is, because they're already in formal clothes, because they're already older than you, they want to be still seen in that light. And you'll see them now suddenly starting to go to church and all that and whatnot because they feel guilty because they want to go and ask for forgiveness where like God can never hear these people up, guys, you know. We're standing it up. It's going to be seen in their life. And most of the people who does witchcraft on people, they don't really feel so mm, sorrow or remorse at all until they get sick, until they get in accidents and all that. Until you see like, oh man, this person's got a demon inside of her. I saw this demon inside of my sister. She lost a whole lot of weight and I figured like, what is going on here? And I never got along with my sister. She's always pretended and all that. Which is why I'd be like, yo, my mom left me with this house. This is my table. I own this table. I own this house. I own the land, the sky. Like, yeah, that's what she would do when she's being a dragon or all that. And what we do is we move up. We give these people space so they can be themselves. Because all they do is, yeah, they worship the flesh, guys, you know. And all we got to do is fix our heart. Let's 
Fix our life, make it as light as the feather. And yeah, just live our lives and see how things turn out. Don't do voodoo, because voodoo will make you stray away from God, guys. And God will never look your way if you focused on doing voodoo to other people who are innocent and all of that. You see what I'm saying? Focus on your journey. Focus on your creativity. Never be jealous of anyone around you because everybody's got their own turn. God loves you. Stay true and be in your authentic truth. I love you. In case somebody didn't tell you that they love you. And yeah, stay true and stay prayed up and stay blessed. I'll see you guys later. Peace.